Hello, I'm Terry Kelly, Director of Representation and Member Services of the Law Society of Ireland. This is one of a series of videos that provides information for solicitors about buying, selling, merging and closing a legal practice. If you have questions or need additional support from the Law Society's Small Practice Support Team, please contact us using the details at the end of the video. Welcome to Information on Closing in Practice, a Law Society Small Practice Support video that is one of a series providing information for solicitors on matters such as buying, selling, merging and closing legal practices. I'm Keith O'Malley of Law Society Small Practice Support Service. This video is focused primarily on regulations that you must comply with when closing a legal practice. It is often necessary to close a firm following disposal of the business or when it progresses into a new entity, such as a sole practitioner firm becoming a partnership. This video covers what needs to happen in all situations where a practice has to be wound up. In this video, we're going to look at closing your practice as follows. We start with critical matters that must be complied with. We then look at how the distribution of files needs to be dealt with. We look at closing accountant's report that must be submitted to the Law Society. And we finish up with the issue of runoff cover. So, let's start with critical matters that must be complied with. Any solicitor closing a practice must notify the Law Society and provide up-to-date home ad address. If the business has been sold or passed on to another, then the following information must also be provided to the Law Society. The date the business was sold or transferred, clarification about exactly what files were sold and to who, and confirmation that all related money is being transferred. A critical matter to remember is that any solicitor who no longer holds a practicing cert must not do any work on files or on the provision of legal services. Let us now look at how the distribution of files needs to be handled. In the event that the firm is being wound up, you are required to keep the Law Society informed in relation to the progress being made in respect of the distribution of live and closed files and in due course provide written confirmation that all live files have been forwarded on to new solicitors. Closed files should be returned to clients where appropriate or held in storage. Any closed files held in storage need to be accessible by some practicing solicitor. You are required to notify the Law Society in writing of the identity of this uh, solicitor uh, and anyone else who has access to your files. In the event that any files are transferred to a colleague, whether the current files are closed ones for storage only, you should ensure that the colleague understands that it will be up to them to make decisions relating to these files. All wills in respect of your closed firm should be transferred to another firm or returned to the clients. Solicitors often notify their bar, local bar association to inform them uh, with regard to uh, wills. Now let's look at closing accountant's report that must be submitted. You're required to file a closing accountant's report related to the date that you ceased to receive, hold, control and pay money on behalf of clients. This report should be filed with the Law Society within two months following your date of cessation. The balance on the client bank account included in the closing accountant's report should be nil. This is the end of this video that provides information on closing your practice. However, other videos in this series deal with a wide range of matters including buying, selling, merging and closing a, a practice. I hope they are of assistance to you. Bye.